man what a crazy day so obviously when i record these shows i usually record them offline i don't usually do live streams i like to kind of just you know gather my thoughts take my time but i thought you know i not because of this news and because of the severity of the news and how shocking it is i thought why not kind of cover it live so you can get my initial first-hand reaction on this very shocking news concerning one of my goats one of my heroes kanye west who's now being sued by a former employee for sexual harassment. To be specific, this particular person is, as TMZ lists them, they are a former assistant. This is an ex-assistant of Kanye's who's now suing Kanye for sexual harassment. First off, it's a surprise. As a big Kanye fan, one of the things I kind of, you know, cherish about him is the fact that you don't really hear any smut around his name. He's not really connected with anything creepy, anything dodgy, nothing diddy-ish nothing whatever else he seems to be somebody that's obviously aggressively very you know outwardly horny we know that based on the women that he's fancied based on how he just conducts his life and based on what he's told us but he doesn't seem to let that horniness seep out into anyone else apart from his missus i've got a feeling he's into swinging stuff that's part of my little feeling as just a kanye fan i have the feeling kanye's into maybe some swinging shit he might be into some cuckold shit but I think it's within the confines of his relationship or his marriage. I don't think he, I, I wouldn't assumed he'd be the kind of guy that'd be like, you know, trying to rub up on random things, you know, grabbing boobs that aren't his, touching people that aren't, you know, that he he doesn't know and shit and just being a creep and being an ass. I would never put that on him because he seems to carry himself a little bit more, you know, with a little bit more grace than that. But unfortunately, according to this particular report via TMZ, that doesn't seem to be the case. So let's see what TMZ have to say. And let's see how I try to kind of gauge this whole thing. Now, off the rip, as somebody's mentioned in the chat, off rip, the unfortunate thing about Kanye and this story is that the lady in question, off rip, just from the purely surface level physical observation, she looks exactly like Kanye's type. If you're not seeing the picture, it's a, you know, racially ambiguous Caucasian lady with very big boobs who kind of looks like Kim, who kind of looks like Bianca. Not really, but kind of, you know? If you told me she was Australian, I'd believe you. If you told me she was Italian and from Bologna, I'd believe you. So racially ambiguous. On a good day, she tans and she looks fucking like Sofia Vergara. On another day, she doesn't tan. She looks like some girl from Essex. So that kind of racially ambiguous kind of vibe, but also she's got massive mummy milkers. And you know, Kanye is more of a tits guy then he is a bum guy because i only noticed it today actually when i saw his picture i noticed today when i saw his picture oh shit kanye is actually more of a tits guy than a bum guy you think of amber rose you think of kim kardashian all these people yes they've got all big bums but one of the things that's probably prominent that you remember him from is the massive mummy milkers um you can see i'm kind of stalling right you can see i'm stalling you can see this guy's my hero and i'm finding it hard to scroll down in the flipping article i'm talking about this woman's looks i'm talking about her fucking physical attributes and i'm not getting at the heart of the story because i don't want to read it I'm not going to lie. I don't want to read it. Kind, I don't want to read it because this guy's my guy. And I don't want to read him, him being creepy. I don't want to read it. It's going to break my heart. Whew. Anyway, surface level, this young lady does look like his type. So I'm, tend, I'm prone to believe it. If she looked like Lizzo, I wouldn't believe it. You know, but because she looks the way she does, I'm prone to believing it. Cool. Let's continue. So scrolling down on this TMZ article. Oh my God, she looks exactly like his type. Oh my God, look at these pictures. Hopefully I don't get taken down from YouTube or wherever I'm streaming this right from now. But this woman looks exactly like somebody that Kanye would want to cover in some of his coom. So the article says, Kanye's executive personal assistant claims he gave her the boot after sending a vile text. Vile, no, let's repeat that again. Kanye West ex slash personal assistant claims he gave her the boot after sending her vile sexual texts and videos oh for goodness sake kanye okay that's already hot that's already hot because if it's vile sexual texts and videos most likely there's evidence of these vile texts and videos and it's probably a way to link and authenticate the number to Kanye. The timelines will match up, blah, blah, blah. So this is like irrefutable, really. If there's hard evidence that he is sending her fucking 4 a.m. texts 
and 5 a.m. texts or videos and texts. This you can't dispute this when it's in picture and video format, right? Cool. But let's try and dispute this because I'm a Kanye fanboy. So let's try and defend the undefensible. <laughs> it continues. Lauren Pis Lauren Pisciotta. 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 Oh my god, she's even Italian, I think, right? Lauren Pisciotto. Pisciotta. How do you say that? Pis Chiota. Pisciotta. 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 Lauren Pisciotta. Pisciotta. I was thinking that's how you saw her name. I, 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 I do apologize if it's not. But Lauren Pisciotto. Pisciotta. Or Pisciotta. 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 Pisciotto. Pisciotta. How do you say her name? Pisciotta. 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 Let's go with Lauren P. Lauren P says in her lawsuit she was an OnlyFans model who posted a bunch of bikini and lingerie pics and was super successful making one mil a year. By the way, big up to her and big up to all my fucking OnlyFans girls out there. Now that I know more about the business and what goes on behind the scenes and how much people are making, yo, maximum respect. Especially if you don't mind, you know, the slight reputational damage you might take from getting on OnlyFans and shit. Some of these ladies out here, are they're pulling in some wedge. So I can only imagine how hard it is for dudes out there to date. Like there's girls out there, like regular, average, everyday girls who are legitimately pulling good money from OnlyFans. And some of them aren't even doing crazy shit. They're not even like having sex on there. They're just posting lingerie pictures and pulling in like two grand plus a month, five grand plus a month on top of what they do as a job full time. So these girls are making like easily a hundred grand a year. Easy. So imagine if you're a dude working a regular 30, 30 grand a year job, 40 grand a year job, 50 grand a year job. How do you pull these regular women who are pulling that much amount of money, living on their own in a nice two bed house somewhere with a car in a driveway and shit? Again, it's up to, if, if you don't like that sort of degeneracy, it's not for you, you're Christian, I, know, I understand. But if you don't mind all that sort of stuff and how people get their money, it kind of really fucks up the dating pool, innit? It kind of messes, mixes, messes it all up because you know these women are super independent um super self-sufficient they don't need you at all so you have to bring something else to the game really something else you can't just come in with just oh i got money i can fucking make you quit your job i can retire you say like, bitch she can retire herself she makes fucking you know five grand a month posting fucking you know victoria's secret pictures and shit in lingerie anyway continuing I, I'm, I'm curious to know why she decided to stop doing only fans and work for kanye though let's see what, what why that is Kanye hired Lauren in July 2021 after meeting her when he was putting together his fashion line. She says she also collaborated with him and worked with him on three songs on Donda. Fuck off. What did this girl do on Donda? Has this girl got credits on Donda? If she if we search her on Genius, is she on there? What the fuck does she add on Donda? So she's a she's a producer allegedly and also an assistant. And a what's she what is she? A, an executive and a personal assistant. I don't know what that means. What what's an executive assistant? Is that the same thing? anyway continuing a year later she says she came a year later she says he came to her and wanted to give her a year later she says he came to her and wanted her to be godlike and asked her to delete her only fans and promised to pay her one mil a year if she did she says she agreed so kanye doing what kanye does best whenever he's into something full-blown he goes full he goes fully hard on it pun intended he splooges all over it, pun intended. He goes ham, pun intended. He decided everyone around him had to be Christian when he's going through his Christian face. You see that already, even there's that clip that goes viral of him chastising that girl that's wearing some Hellstar sweats and shit, right? So this makes sense as well. This lines up with the guy that we know. And we also know he's got money. So we know he would be willing to pay somebody a million a year just to be his assistant because she's got fucking big fat tits. You know what I mean? I could, I could see that being the case. Continuing. Um, Lauren P claimed shortly after Kanye began to send her a series of text messages yeah unfortunately the moment you let somebody pay you a million a year and it's not really deserving of your role it kind of feels like a transaction in it right it kind of feels like a transaction unfortunately that's not really you know why should he pay you a million a year just to, it doesn't make, I mean like what so already the lines were blurred the moment he did that she probably should have ran for the hills as soon as that happened Shortly thereafter, Kanye began to send her a series of text messages, including one that said, see, my problem is I want to be 
hold on see my problem is i be wanting to fuck then hold on let's continue that again <laughs> kanye i don't want to see kanye's horny texas we should never see each other's horny texas ever in the history of the world but i don't want to see one of my heroes horny texas especially a 40 plus year old man with like a million kids it's just oh my god Lauren P claimed shortly thereafter Kanye began to send her a series of text messages, including one that said, See, my problem is I be wanting to fuck, but then after I fuck, I want a girl to tell me how hard they've been fucked while I'm fucking them. Then I want her to cheat on me. What? Then I want her to cheat on me. Yo, is Kanye like. Kanye is in full cuck mode, isn't it? Is this gooning or is this cucking? Like, what the fuck is that about? He enjoys when people cheat on him. So he's into that sort of stuff. Like, what do they call that sort of stuff? Um, there's a Reddit for it. Hot wife. There's a Reddit for it. Yeah, there's a hot wife Reddit. So I think he's into that hot wife shit, right? Where it's like, oh, um, sorry, babe, I'm late from. Uh, I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna be home on time. I've got like a team meeting. And then the woman accidentally sends a picture of her like, oh, oh, like deep throating some guy. Oh my God, I just went to go and ask Dan, our next door neighbor for a screwdriver. Um, look at us now. And it's them two like hanging off some swing. Yo, yeah, he's into that hot wife shit. I would have never guessed, bro. I honestly thought he was into like swinging. I just had a feeling with how he displays Bianca Sensori, with how he was with 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 with, with um, Kim, how he was with Amber. I just assumed he was into like swinging, like, you know, we swap, we swap chicks and shit. But it looks like he's into like knowing, he gets off on knowing that his wife is desired by other people and also knowing that she's getting fucked by other people. Maybe not being in the room, but knowing that it's happening. <sighs> Yo, oh, Kanye, man, Kanye, why? <laughs> oh, this girl's got a slam dunk case, bro. This girl's got a slam dunk case, man. She's going to take all these easy coins, bro. This girl's got a slam dunk case. She's probably got texts, video, screenshots, actual fucking, you know, dot .mov fucking files dot mp4 files she's probably got voice notes she's got everything man there's no way this girl doesn't have it all you don't bring this sort of lawsuit no oh, kanye brother brother first diddy and now kanye really is this what the world's doing to me i feel personally attacked god damn it at least with diddy we, we, we all had a feeling i don't think anybody out there can say they thought kanye was like this don't ever lie I don't want people doing revisionist history now. Oh yeah, I always knew Kanye was like, did he? No, you didn't. He might be a bit of a cunt, obviously, as a person, but you never thought he did something crazy with girls. There's never been a story. This is a shock to me. <sighs> anyway, it really got vocal after that with more alleged texts sent from um, Lauren P that describe Ye's sexual fantasies with women, including a lot of explicit language. Hold on. So she was also replying back, it says, it seems like, right? She was also, I guess she was engaging and fine with it for a moment and then she wasn't because it says it really gets vulgar after that with more alleged texts sent from Lauren P that describe Ye's sexual fantasies. Oh, sorry. So she sent them to TMZ, maybe. That's what I think that's what they mean. Fuck, she wasn't, she wasn't involved, was she? I've always, anyway, I've never really understood and this is maybe something that I'm just going to say aloud and I'm going to sound like a fucking dork, right? So please bear with me. I'm going to sound like a fucking nerd. I'm going to sound like a lame. I'm going to sound like a choir boy. I know, but please bear with me. I've never understood why some guys out there who think, who, who know girls or who work with girls, especially like this, who are involved in like the adult entertainment industry or who are sex workers. I've never understood why guys think because a woman's involved in that sort of industry that she likes that sort of language like you know like i've never understood why that is a, why that is the case why do guys think that girls who are like sex workers or who, who post these sort of first traps want dick pics want to be sent weird messages want to be told weird graphic things like why do they think that it's fair if you're engaging with somebody who's giving you that kind of sign and then you're going back and forth cool that's all consenting but why do off rip people just think oh because you like 
suck dick for money you must enjoy random people sending you pictures of their schlong like why would that be the case you know it's a strange thing like it really is like hmm but anyway whatever let's continue there's one interesting alleged text that lauren p claims he sent her that went something like this this is kanye allegedly is my dick racist it is this fucking dick racist of mine i'm gonna beat this fucking racist dick for being a fucking racist i'm gonna stare at pictures of my white women with black asses and beat the shit out of my racist dick beating the shit out of my big black dick <sighs> doesn't that sound like doesn't that not even th that that only, that only sounds like kanye that sounds like a bar Kanye would say in the rap. That sounds like something Kanye would put in fucking on vultures. My dick is racist. My chicks are big. No, no. My money is long. My dick is racist. My chicks are. My chick are faceless. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> Bugatti racist. We fat and like. Like my, my chick's asses are fat like laces. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we don't run DMC on those big titties. <laughs> we KKK it. Like, you know, like I could definitely see him saying something like this in a bar. This definitely sounds like fucking Kanye. Beating the shit out of this big black cock. I'm going to stare at pictures of white women with black asses and beat the shit out of my racist dick. Beating the shit out of his big black cock. <laughs> That's why you should be careful who you text, man. Honestly, consenting adults only, um, you know, and just leave it at that. Because once your stuff gets out, when you see it in black and white, everyone's horn texts sound wild. And by the way, I'm going to hypothesize here. I'm going to hypothesize here something that would people will not ever think of. These sound like MDMA texts. Coming from a fellow horn monster or coming from a reformed horn monster and coming from a retired party boy, I know what fucking MDMA texts sound like. This these sound like MDMA texts. This sound like somebody that's just flipping going wild you know what i mean he's been dabbing his finger in that bag he's been rubbing that shit on his gums you might be sprinkled that shit in his fucking chardonnay and he's fucking firing those texts off like gada, 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 gada. my big black dick my big black dick my big black dick my big black. i mean that's what it sounds like this sounds this sounds like it anyway let's continue not just this but lauren p also claims he would oh okay cool you see you see when it stops to get funny you see when it stops to get funny when this happens oh god almighty kanye you sound like crystalia bro what are you doing look at the next paragraph not just this but lauren p claims is it Lauren P or Laura P? What's her name again? Is it Lauren P or Laura? Yeah, Lauren P claims he would masturbate during phone conversations with her and ask her if she would he if she could hear and guess what he was doing. And she claims he was fixated on the penis size of her boyfriend. Oh my god. Oh my god. Lord God, please sanctify me. Cleanse me of this vulgarity. Oh my god, Kanye, what the fuck are you doing, brother? And there's no doubt in my mind that this girl has bona fide 10k HD clear as day proof of this shit. Screenshots, screen recordings. Oh my god, bro. He's gonna have to pay this woman some bank and his reputation's gonna suffer in the fucking process. How do you defend this? What do you got to say? Yeah, I'm fucking horny. Because this isn't horny. This is this is harassment, bro. This person works for you. They're your employee. 
you're clearly overstepping the mark. Especially, I've not heard anything so far in these report that gives the in, that gives the in that gives the fucking um that gives me the fucking feeling that they were sexually involved in any way, shape, or possible or any way, shape, or form. And even if they were, that would also be an abuse of power. Like you know what I mean? If you're the boss, you can't be fucking your employees, especially not your assistant, especially not if you fight if you fucking hired her off the strength of her being an OnlyFans girl. All that stuff is already weird anyway, right? Surrounding yourself with fucking, you know, with women with fucking women that you want to fuck is strange anyway. But if you're gonna do that whole like I don't know, surround yourself. Oh, I'm only gonna work with women type of thing. You have to go out of your way to also be like a safe space guy and not be the person that's kind of coming onto them. I know some guys like to do that to be like suave and to appear cool. There is something swaggy about like, oh yeah, my whole company, I only hire women. I don't hire dudes. Cool. But then don't try and fuck them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, just let them work. <laughs> it's already weird that you're fucking objectifying them in that way. But fair, if they don't mind being objectified, if they don't mind being your big titted assistant that's just there because they're eye candy and they're there to maybe disarm potential investors and shit, and it's a good fucking vibe for the office, and you're into fashion, and you want to use them as your muse, cool. But then just leave them alone. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't send them texts about how you are wanking talking to them. <sighs> God almighty. It continues. According to the lawsuit, there was a slew of text messages and sexual videos and photos that were sent to her, including at least two videos of Kanye having sex with a model. She claims he then promoted her to chief of staff for his various companies at a salary of $4 million. Yo, Kanye is giving these girls Birkin bags and he's giving these girls fucking paydays, isn't it? If you're a white woman with big tits and ambition and you don't mind him sending you some weird messages, he's going to pay. He's going he's gonna to sort you out. Because I got a feeling that this is also coming about because she probably wasn't paid. So if you're going to sexually arrest, again, this is weird to say this, but I'm sure there are some women out there who probably have a higher threshold for like nonsense, inju for enduring nonsense and enduring harassment and shit. So if they're going to endure harassment, if they're going to put up with guys being creepy and leering at them at work, pay me my fucking money and pay on time. But I have a feeling that Kanye didn't clear a couple invoices continued sending those messages and she's like bruh I don't even like you sending this stuff I've made it clear and you're not paying me okay cool now you're dead <sighs> um, Lauren P says in October 2022 she was fired but claims he owed her 3 million severance which she accepted she claims he never paid she's suing for breach of contract sexual harassment wrongful termination and hostile work environment you see I didn't even read the article and I knew it. I knew it. This woman's a fucking pro. She's put up with, you know, looking the way she does. I'm sure she's put up with loads of men saying crazy shit to her, sending her mad messages. She probably knows how to kind of extract money from that situation. Just kill and keep it moving, right? But you have to make it somewhat worth her while. If that, I know that sounds crass and crazy, but those kind of people exist. We're just, you know, able just to kind of power through. But don't keep being cracking creepy and then not paying me. Kanye is a wild guy, bro. I wonder why she even got fired, to be fair. I wonder what, what, why he decided to fire her. We reached out to Kanye's rep. So far, no word back. Of course, there's no word back. What's he going to say? What can he say? This sounds fucking... This sounds like a slam dunk. All these text messages sound like him. All these quotes that we've got so far, they sound exactly like something Kanye would say. Like, you can't not... You know, you can't argue against that. Especially like, see, my problem is... I be wanting to fuck then after I want a girl to tell me how hard they've been fucked while I'm fucking them. Then I want her to cheat on me. It's like, okay, yeah? Kanye's into what now? <sighs> yeah. Anyways, that's a fucking crazy case. I think it's a slam shot. Kanye's in big fucking trouble. Um, really fucking big fucking trouble and um, let's see how it develops but this he sounds fucking guilty as fuck bro I'm not gonna lie he sounds fucking guilty as fuck and that woman's gonna get way more than her fucking severance now and his reputation is gonna be solid especially with all the light on fucking Diddy and shit especially with his own going beef with Diddy <sighs> man oh man oh man oh man isn't it a shame that that doesn't exist in that fashion design culture art music world for so far we don't have any 
example of a dude high level who surrounds himself with beautiful women who happens to be straight who isn't a bit of a creep I, I don't know why they don't exist they should exist because i think there's probably a lot of like um there's a lot of strength in that there's obviously a lot of especially when it comes to the art anyway surrounding yourself with that kind of energy and also not leering on them it's probably going to influence and help your art in the first place whatever you're fucking doing whatever medium you're in but for some reason it doesn't seem to be the case and i wonder why i wonder what is it about the scene the industry that just you know it doesn't it people just aren't on their best behavior bombarded bro god damn it god damn it anyway what can you do what can you do prayers to lauren pisiokota have you pronounce her name pisiotota let's hope that she gets a good conclusion from this and she secures the bag and now everyone knows what turns kanye on he's gonna be so fucking embarrassed so he as he should be if all that stuff is true <laughs>